Today we're gonna go on a treasure hunt and we're gonna find some unclaimed property. I'm gonna walk you through the websites, give you some tips and tricks along the way, and maybe by the end, you can find some unclaimed property of your own. Each state has their own division of unclaimed property, so you just need to find out what website that is and go run a name search. I'm gonna walk you through the state of Florida, but before I do that, I'm gonna walk you through what the national website is so you can make it easier to find your state. I'll also put the links down at the bottom so you can just scroll down and click on the state that applies to you. The website that we're gonna start at is unclaimed.org and I'll put the link down at the bottom. Here, if you scroll down, you can see a map of each state. And if you just hover over it, you can see that it just highlights. So we're gonna start with Florida. And that link is gonna bring you to fltreasurehunt.gov and this is specifically for Florida. So it's the Florida's website for the Division of Unclaimed Property. Right here in the middle, you can see Search Unclaimed Property. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now, here you can see it says type in last name or if you have a business name that you're searching for. So I'm going to go ahead and put my name, Sickle, S-I-C-K-L-E. Type it right in there. And I'm going to put in Travis. And then go ahead and just put whatever code's down there. Let it know that you are not a robot. Click search. What do you know? Look what comes up. So Travis T. Sickle, that's going to be me. And this is one of our old business addresses. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this account and see what it is. So on this page, you can see the account number. You can see the property type. And it's going to say wages, payroll, or salary. Whatever type of property that you have that's unclaimed, it's going to be right there. Reported by. So this is unclaimed funds that our business had from Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. So these are probably some commissions from years ago that for whatever reason we didn't receive. Primarily this, this resulted because we moved. You know, this is an old location that we used to have. We had a lot of our mail forward, but it could have been one of those things that fell through the cracks and it ends up in the unclaimed property division. So here I'm gonna click on, do you wanna claim this account? And I'm gonna click on yes. And then it brings us to this page. It's gonna ask us the question of whether or not we are the person or if this person has been deceased. Click no and go to the next page. It's gonna let you know it's gonna bring you to an encrypted website. We're gonna click continue. And then we're just gonna start to fill out the information that it's requesting. So here I'm gonna put in my last name, put in my first name, middle initial, put in my birth date, February 27th. I'm gonna put in my social security number, put it in a second time, scroll down and put in my mailing address. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my current email address and my phone number and then i'm going to save save continue is this correct yes go to the next section it's actually 261 dollars and 32 cents that i can go ahead and claim i was actually pretty surprised that it was that amount so here you can either search for more accounts or you can click continue since we only had the one that came up before i'm just going to go ahead and click continue so i'm going to go ahead and continue the claim everything looks correct i'm going to finish the claim so here I'm gonna click on print my claim form. So this website just generated the ticket that I'm gonna to need to mail in and ultimately claim the property that I'm looking for. And if we scroll down, we can see here all the details. So all we need to do is to file your claim form, follow the steps one through eight. So step one is complete the following information. Note, please provide the following information. It's pretty redundant. So here you can just see it says follow steps one through eight. So step one is gonna to be to put in your social security number. Step two is just basically your phone number and if you have an office number, somewhere they can contact you. Number two is gonna be attach a certified copy of a death certificate for the reported owner. Well, I haven't died, so I'm not gonna attach that. For number three, you just have to prove who you are and you can do this in various ways. You can either send them a copy of your social security card, your Medicare card, W-2 wages. For your W-2, I would probably print out a few of your pay stubs right in a row the most recent ones that you have will probably be your best bet to prove that you are who you say you are. Number four, each claimant shall provide the department with a legible copy of their valid driver's license. So you can just take a picture of your license. Don't forget, I would take the back and the front to make it easier to just get your claim through as fast as possible. Number five, if the estate is still open. So this is gonna have to do with your claiming property for someone who's passed away. And number six also has to deal with the same as number five. 
Just a little more clarification on what you're trying to accomplish. Number seven, a court order is not required for named beneficiaries of insurance policies and bank accounts. Steps one through four is verified who you are. And if you're the beneficiary on an insurance policy, that's what number seven is referring to. You can still claim the funds. You don't need a court order to do so. And number eight says sign and date the claim form. Your claim form, just go ahead and print your name, sign here and date it, send it. If you look right here, you can see exactly where to send it into Tallahassee. And again, this is only for the state of Florida. And they want you to give them at least 90 days before you start hassling them where your, where your money is. Although you have every right to get it, they want it at least 90 days for processing time. I'm going to go ahead and send this certified mail so I have something to track so I know that they received it and you have documentation every step of the way. This is only one way to help you find unclaimed property and we'll go through some of the other avenues in the future. But this one is really good for old bank accounts that you might have forgotten about or if you were the beneficiary on a life insurance policy that maybe you didn't even know about and they couldn't contact you because maybe you moved. And utility bills are actually the biggest one for unclaimed funds. And that's because the utility company might not know where you moved to. So go ahead and check it and see if you're entitled to some unclaimed property. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.